Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I use this frying pan to make the three-point log grapple. Check it out. Nothing. What are you doing with my frying pan? Is that my good frying pan? You better not be messing with my good one. Okay, okay, never mind. Recently, we made a video on the three-point log grapple, and a few viewers wanted more details on the dimensions and asked if I had any drawings. Unfortunately, I didn't make any separate drawings. It was a make changes as I go project. I'm not great with computers either, so I don't know how to make files that I can share. We're just gonna have to take a tape measure to it. Let's go. But first, we're gonna have to take it apart so I can show you the measurements. Hopefully I can remember how to put this back together. This is where the frying pan comes in. You can see the radius is the size of a 12 inch frying pan. So that's one and then I went over a little bit to get the other radius. Next we're going to have to figure out this angle here. I made two holes but this is the one that seems to be the best hole. So I got this tool. I wouldn't call it a measuring tool but we'll go from this hole to that hole or at least the center of it. Just kind of put it like that. Maybe I could do this. Not very scientific, but that's kind of the angle. And I'll try to figure it out on paper what that angle is. Okay. That looks close to a 45 degrees from that pivot point. 45, 46 degrees. For the length, we'll go that corner to this corner kind of to the tip here. That's exactly 16 inches from there to there. And you'll need four of these pieces. You can even minus that, maybe just make it straight across like that in an angle. And then this is two and a quarter, and this is roughly two and an eighth. I got two bolts, three quarter, from here to here is six inches. So I got two six inch, three quarter bolts, and two five and a half inch, three quarter bolts. And then you can see I reinforced this edge. We go from here to here, that's 17 inches. And you notice this is offset. The bottom of the cylinder or the base of the cylinder goes in this hole and the tip of the cylinder connects to this side. And then these pivot pieces are just over two and a quarter and 16 and three quarter length, hole to hole, looks like 14 and three quarter. And these notches, once you put it together, you'll see where the bolts come close. And then I just took a washer, cut a notch out so can, the jaws can close a little bit more. This point here is four inches at the top and I added the extension piece just so I can give the hoses some more room. From here to the middle of this hole in the top, seven and three quarter. So from the, the middle of the bottom hole and the middle of the top hole, there's a four inch difference. So this one's four inch lower than this side. Right now, I got just regular nuts holding it. I'm gonna change that to these stops or bushings with a set screw. And that'll be what I put at the end of the, the bolt, see? In the video, I mentioned drilling these holes, but luckily, I had another channel, Joe from Steel to Wood. He uh, told me about these Zerk fittings. So they're quarter by 28 nuts that he welds over the hole. So there's the holes. I guess he welds these nuts and the fitting right over the hole. Or that's how he makes his grease fittings instead of just doing the hole. So I plan on doing that upgrade. Thanks, Joe. This is the cylinder I chose to go with. And from hole to hole, 
is 14 and that's the minimum length and it's a six inch stroke so just add six inches to that so it's roughly 20. This is an inch and a half bore. Yeah they come with grease fittings and in this case these are number six ORB SAE that's the type of fitting you're going to need to, to connect to the cylinder. Okay on these you can see that I have one smaller than the other so that it can go in between. When you close it up, it'll go kind of like that. It overlaps. This dimension from tip to tip is on the inside is three and a quarter. And on the outside of this is two and a quarter. That way it won't interfere and, and hit each other when the jaws close. And the spacing between here is four and an eighth. I think it's kind of cool that we can help each other from YouTube's comments. And I'm really glad that people were so interested in the log grapple. There's always room for improvement. And if you haven't watched the first video, I'll put it right here. Thanks for watching and keep it on the sunny side.